Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we will be converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. We'll be doing that using long division. So what to expect, I'll talk a little bit about what improper fractions are, show you what a mixed number looks like, and then we'll just do some conversions between them with a couple of uh, sample questions and some practice. An improper fraction kind of is a top-heavy fraction, all right, a fraction where the numerator is larger than the denominator. So this can come in many forms where we have whatever number on the top is larger than the number on the bottom. These fractions can be in lowest terms or not. They can be in whatever form they are. If the top number is larger than the bottom number, like all of these examples here, these are improper fractions. And we don't like writing pro improper fractions. We like to have them written in a different form. And that different form is a mixed number. A mixed number is a fraction and a whole number. So here's an example, 7 and 2 thirds. So that has the whole number of 7 and a fraction of 2 thirds where the numerator is less than the denominator. Here are some other examples of that just to kind of give us a little bit of, um, you know, perspective. Here it is. Here are several examples where we have a whole number and a fraction that has the numerator is less than the denominator. In all these cases, I've reduced them down to lowest terms as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is talk about how we convert from a, a mixed, an improper fraction or those top heavy fractions into a mixed number where you have the whole number and a, a fraction. So first off, a fraction is the numerator divided by the denominator. So when we have a fraction of 7 over 4, that means 7 divided by 4. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to use long division. But what's different is we are going to keep the remainder. So let me show you how we do that. We have 7 divided by 4. So I ask myself, how many times does 4 go into 7? It goes in one time. Then I'll multiply 1 times 4 is 4. And then I subtract 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. All right. So in previous lessons and, and other times when you're working with decimals, you would then, you know, add the decimal here, add a 0 here, and continue to, you know, factor this. What we're going to do is we are going to keep that number 3 as our remainder. So it goes in, 4 goes into 7 one time or 7, I'm sorry, 7 goes into 4 one time and has a remainder of 3. It has 3 left over. That's the two pieces of information that we are going to use to write our mixed number. Our final answer is the whole number comes from the answer. The remainder is our numerator and the denominator remains the same. That is how we convert from a fraction 4, 7 over 4, our improper fraction, into our mixed number. There it is. So, let's do a little bit of practice. I would like you to use our division um, to show me 14 over 5 as a mixed number. You can pause the recording and go ahead and solve that. Welcome back. So we are dividing 14 divided by 5. I ask myself, how many times does 5 go into 14? It goes in 2 times, and now I'm going to multiply 2 times 5 is 10, subtract, and I get 4 as my remainder. I'm going to put that up top, a remainder of 4. So it goes, 14 goes into 5, or 14 divides by 5, and we get 2 with a remainder of 4. So my answer is the whole number, the remainder is the numerator, and the denominator remains the same. So my final answer would be 2 and 4 fifths. All right, one last time. Practice is going to make progress on this one. We're going to take the numerator divided by the denominator with our fraction of 10 over 9. Again, pause the recording, try it out on your own. So we're going to go ahead and divide. 10 divided by 9, we're going to use long division. How many times does 10, does 9 go into 10? one time. I'm going to multiply 1 times 9 gives me 9. I subtract 
for a remainder of 1. Now this one's an interesting one because my answer and my remainder are the same, but I'm going to solve it exactly the same way I would otherwise. The answer from up top is my whole number. The remainder is my numerator and the denominator remains exactly the same. That's how we solve them. It doesn't matter what the numbers end up being. They could be the same numbers, right? Um, but they're still going to go in those exact same places. So how did we do? Did we talk about improper fractions? I think we covered that. Then we talked about mixed numbers. And then we did a little bit of conversion between practicing with three sample questions. I hope that lesson and that practice was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.